My next guest was one of the big winners this past weekend at UFC 265, getting the decision victory over Draco Rodriguez. It's Vince Morales back here on the program. Vince, how's it going? Doing very well, James. How are you? Doing awesome. Uh, congrats on the win. I know it was uh, a bit of a layoff heading in. That's actually where I wanted to start. How did you feel in there? Because you look pretty good for being out for so long. Um, it, it, I still felt like it took me a little bit to get going. Um, I hate that about my first rounds that I think it's kind of been a theme throughout in, uh, all these, you have all my UFC fights is, uh, is taking a little bit to get comfortable and going. Um, I think that was even kind of, I don't want to say more so. I think I did a better job than I, than I have in the past, but, um, I think the rust played a little bit into, into that. It's just, it definitely felt it was a big moment going in there and, and I was very aware of everything that I'd worked past and worked through just to get to that point and on that note how did you feel having the camp at syndicate heading in i know we were talking about just how positive that whole experience was getting to work there and heading into a big fight like this even, even more so i mean uh like it was it was great it was be- better than i could have asked for i think i'm fairly low maintenance e- even when it comes to fight camp as far as uh like my expectations and needs um everything's kind of, everything's kind of met and then some especially with uh people like John Wood and, and Shino in the corner and, and my cousin Ricky, they were all, man, they made the whole process be just so easy and so smooth. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for it. What was the game plan heading in? Did you feel like you executed it? I did a uh, big game plan where we were thinking it was going to be heavy on the low calf kicks just because the way my last fight went and uh, things we'd seen from him in the past, he tends to throw those pretty good. So we're trying to avoid those or smother those and uh, actually did a little bit of both of that. I wanted to play around a little more on the ground than, than I got the chance to. Um, I didn't I didn't feel like the striking was going uh, was going poorly enough that I had to get on the ground and, and rely on that. I, I thought I was kind of edging some of the some of the things out um, and only and getting better and better as it went on. So um, I kind of kept it there. Yeah, uh, overall, I, I know right after the fight, I was fairly frustrated with it because I was wanting to finish and trying to make a trying to make a statement. I, I, just, I just think it's that time. It's that point in my career where where I really need to start putting these guys away and didn't get that. So I was a little frustrated. But um, kudos to Draco. I mean, the, the dude was tough. Um, it, it was it was a good fight. Was there anything that surprised you about him in the fight? Now that's pretty. Oh, he avoided my jab better than I thought he would. Than, than, than I thought he would. Um, I, I got a pretty jab-heavy game, and I was looking to build off of that. And he he just he manages range pretty good. I think we both did. That's kind of why we ended up in those kind of stagnant areas where we're both kind of trying to see who's gonna who's gonna really go because anytime one of us went, the other person was throwing. So it kind of left us in this in this weird area some some of the times. Um, but yeah, he he. That was one main thing that surprised me was. Um, that, the fact I couldn't land a jab goes to the scorecards. How are you feeling going in? I think most people thought you won, but how are you feeling going in? Uh, I felt like I felt like I I I done enough. I, I was trying to shake the frustration because uh, and I set high expectations for myself and and I really wanted and felt like I needed needed to get a finish in this. And uh, so right after I was I was I was trying not to let that be so heavy on me, but uh, but I I, I really wanted to get in there and get a finish. Um, so as they're reading the, the scorecards, the first one that said thirty twenty seven, I was like, oh, OK, I got it. And that one, it just, it just made me feel it just I was like, OK, cool. It's going to settle. It's going to settle right. And then uh, if, if you I, I went back and rewatched the fight already and I I caught myself mouthing Vince Morales as Bruce, <laughs> as Buffer was saying it. And I was like, OK, cool. Yeah, there you go. No, it all it all worked out. And, and how would you celebrate after the fight? Like I said, big win layoff. I mean, you, you went out there and put on a really good performance. Yeah, we went and ordered a bunch of pizza, got some beers, and <laughs> went went back to the hotel, finished the fights, and then I had uh, my family come through because a bunch of them actually made the trip to Texas. Um, oh, cool. Okay. My, yeah, my, it was my little sister's birthday, which I wanted to tell her happy birthday on the mic, and and screwed that up because I was so <laughs> I was so focused on frustration. But uh, yeah. it was it was her birthday yesterday. It's my buddy's. It was my or it was her birthday on Saturday. Rather, it was my buddy who also came to the fight. One of my brothers, uh, Jace his birthday the next day. So it was, it was a good showing and I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad we could all get together for that and enjoy all those big moments together. No UFC this weekend. We got a UFC next week, uh, next Saturday, I should say there's a big fight in your division. Brian Kelleher, Domingo Pilarde right now in fan duel, Brian Kelleher minus 146, Domingo Pilarde plus 124. Who are you liking in that one? It's Kelleher dropping back down. Of course he's fought at featherweight the last couple of fights because of the pandemic and, and the short notice. Right. 
That's 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 an interesting one. Um, I don't know how well Kelleher is going to deal with the size of Pilarte. I think that's the one. That's something. I know when I got in there with him, I was expecting him to be a lot skinnier than he was, just because he, he has a six foot band weight. But no, he's got a good frame on him. He's got some muscle. Uh, he's got some speed on him too. He keeps. He's got a good presence. Kel- Kelleher is Kelleher though, and he's kind of a dog, and you kind of really can't count him out. I know that's that's a fun fight. I can't wait to see it. Um, kind of full of, pulling full pulling for Pilarte just because well if you beat me I want you to do very good because I'm right. only going to be losing for the best so. yeah absolutely well uh, you brought up a good point about the size I mean that, that might be curious people are looking to bet the fight maybe some underdog value there on Pilarte uh, really interesting fight in the flyweight division Alexander Pantoja minus 168 taking on Brandon Royville plus 142 who are you liking in that fight I like Roy Val actually um, I think that he's he's amazing really um, he's got a wide variety he's really good everywhere um, he's got the confidence to throw whatever he wants, whenever he wants, whether that be something on the ground or on the feet. Um, I like him. I think he's, he's a, he's a kind of a fighter's fighter too. Um, not, not that, not that Pantoja isn't cause he's tough and he always comes to get in people's face. That's going to be, that's fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm picking, picking Roy Val. I'm thinking he, thinking he might be able to get the job done. And then the main event is Jared Cannonier and Calvin Gaslam right now, Jared Cannonier, the favorite at minus 168, Calvin Gaslam minus 142. Who are you liking in that one? Or plus one forty two, I should say. Sorry. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I was thinking a uh, uh, gasolum. Honestly, I think uh, Cannonier is great, but uh, I just don't know if he's going to be able to deal with the speed, timing, and range that Kelvin has. Kelvin does a lot of things very right, and it throws people off off their game. Um, Cannonier is very good with his fundamentals. I think you're going to need a little more than good fundamentals to beat somebody like Gasolum. So I'm picking Gasolum. When are you looking to get back in there? I know it's a fresh win. I know you said you weren't happy either. Is, is the plan to try and get back in there and get another one? Or, or what, what's sort of the, the plan going forward? Because you live in Vegas, right? So it's a little bit easier to get a fight, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I, I, well, I'd like to think so. Uh, I, right now I'm visiting with my girlfriend's parents. They live here in Texas. Uh, they're like four hours away from the arena. So we came over here to spend, spend a little bit of time with them before I get, get right back home and right back to work. Because that's, that's the only thing I've been thinking about this whole time. I just can't wait to get back to training. Uh, I'm hoping to get another one this year. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what Coach Sean Wood thinks. Um, I know. I know we want to want to take our time and kind of settle into some some new techniques. I think this one it was a big fight for me. I, I think I needed needed it needed to get a good win. Um, unfortunately, M- MMA doesn't really care about what you need. It cares about the work you put in. So whether whether that works in camp or out of camp, I'm gonna be putting in work. So I just from now I'm just trying to get better. I hope I hope hopefully I can get a fight maybe at the end of the year. And uh, any opponents in mind? Are you just wait and see what your management, your coaches think? Just wait and see what they think, really, because I I, I know I've got some ground ground to make up for for the guys that I'm really watching, like the uh, like the O'Malley's and the just the higher up guys. Like I, I'm I broke a two fight skid, so I've got I got a little more work to do before I, before I'm fighting those guys. Well, I don't know. O'Malley likes to fight guys with the. Uh, <laughs> with records similar to mine so we'll see maybe fingers there crossed. you go yeah maybe, maybe we'll see if uh, o'malley's next yeah we'll see i don't know his next fight's not booked i was reading something today there's a pay issue maybe i don't know so we'll see see what he decides to do there but uh he hasn't yeah it was the last even before he fought montino he's gonna fight Louis smolka who's not ranked so i don't know I, I think that's the ufc's doing in terms of them you know trying to build him up i guess i don't know so we'll see that, that's that's what i imagine so yeah we'll see it it doesn't really matter to me i really just want to get get back in there and uh and build on this on this momentum uh coming off of so going into this fight um i bulged a disc in my back i tore cartilage in both ribs um i was dealing with cuts throughout my entire camp my face just shows damage like like you wouldn't believe uh so just just to make it to the fight there were there were points during camp i wasn't even sure if i could so just to get to the fight and now come out with a win makes all all that worth it Uh, hopefully this week i get enough good rest my body's recovered and i'm good to go um, I just, I just want to get back to work. Absolutely. Vince, thanks so much for doing this, man. Congrats again on the victory. Anyone you want to thank any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Uh, I want to really, really give a big thanks to coach John Wood and all the guys over at syndicate. Really. Um, they've been, they've been great for me. Uh, in, in the corner, everything was, I just the whole, this whole fight like went, went, went great really was as far, as far as the process and preparation and everything. And, and I think that's due to the, so the atmosphere that syndicate has and and what their goals are in mind and in, in yeah in their mind and uh, and how they kind of line up with mine um shout out to my management for being there throughout this whole time for me and checking on me make sure i'm ready um 
special thanks to all the people at the PI that have been working on me, all the physical therapists, Heather, Bobby, Tara, um, and Matt with SNC. They literally built me from the ground up this this whole time. I, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk like eight months ago. So I'm walking, I'm running, I'm trying to kick people in the face and everything. So um, here I am. Let's go.